Look at this. No, you do not need to buy these. It is best to have the appropriate environment to attract praying mantises and ladybugs. I have had both in my garden year after year, and I'm able to keep them coming back. Just you got to provide the right conditions. And beneficial nematodes, don't buy these. Just plant a bunch of marigolds, French marigolds, if you're limited on space. Because what happens, let's just take these ladybugs here, for example. Sure, they're all alive, but generally most of the time, you release them, and then they just fly away. And I believe these are currently $10. They don't have it currently marked, but $10, $11. When you get ladybugs out in the wild, I remember in my area there are a lot of ladybugs, if you, especially in the shade, and if you attract, if there's aphids or whatever around, even though aphids are a nuisance sometimes, that is a good space. Basically anywhere where it is kind of shaded, you have, if you have a woody area nearby, that is a great uh, natural area that att naturally attracts these insects, these beneficial insects. And again, you really don't need to buy ladybug houses, if you, especially if you have trees nearby, shaded trees, large trees, but also just any sort of good greenery. Like say you have a patch of plants in your yard, densely planted, you know, it can be, you know, ladybugs and praying mantises do like shaded and wooded areas. That is almost sort of like their natural habitat, but I have seen them in the open sun before. But I'm just saying this because you do not have to buy these things. I would say the biggest waste of money out of the three would be beneficial nematodes because you can easily get these for pennies on the dollar by planting either French marigolds or African marigolds, really any marigold, uh, because the roots attract beneficial nematodes and release those into the soil, which help control everything that uh, these claim they do. And sometimes if these, these things here, like beneficial nematodes and other things, generally they are stored incorrectly if it's got, if it's gotten warm, uh, they will be non-effective, so you could be buying non-effective things as well. So, I hope you liked this video and really got something out of it. It's just a warning that, sure, these things are in the store, and even an update, those beneficial nematodes are $33. That is simply ridiculous when you can put them by planting marigolds, as I mentioned. But, of course, there are many different other soil and different scams out there in the gardening community, so you need to watch this video next on why this soil scam is so common and how you can avoid falling for it.